Delisi has been around for 117 years. We're a construction aggregates producer in Oklahoma. We operate five wash sand plants, eight crushed stone quarries, and a little over 30 ready mix facilities. Here at our White Eagle plant, we make primarily concrete sand for the Dallas-Fort Worth market. We pump the material up with a dredge at around 1,000 tons an hour to a couple feed regulating sumps. It really allows us to give a more consistent feed to these classifying tanks. That lets those classifying tanks sort that material in a much more consistent way, really to the extent where it's near hands off for our operators. He can walk away and go look at something else and feel confident about the product that's going through it. Once the sand goes through those classifying tanks, it then goes down to a set of dewater screens where we dewater the sand. There's also a scavenger loop in those dewater screens that helps us collect some of the fines uh, rather than letting those get washed out back to the lake. What sets this one aside from any other operation would be the use of cyclones and dewatering screens. It's very important that our end user, they want the material very dry. Probably the most beneficial part of the design of this plan is the fact that it does dry the material and keeps it to where we can manage it and load it in rail cars a lot better. On the way to the stockpiles, the sand crosses one of McClanahan's automatic samplers, which for us really lets us sample at a more consistent frequency, making our process generally more consistent. It helps us take out any sampling bias. The McClanahan crossbelt sampler has been a blessing to us here. It makes it a lot easier and safer for my guys to pull a sample and also gives a better representative sample. In my experience, McClanahan has just been an experienced group of folks that we can reach out to to help us solve some of our deposit issues. McClanahan has been one of the better equipment suppliers doing what they say they're going to do when it's come to schedule, when it comes to delivering equipment, and then that equipment doing what it's supposed to do when it shows up.